Hi there. Here's a Drake T4XB that I picked up, I think, in August of 2021 sometime. So, this thing needed a lot of work. And I probably have about two weeks of work into this thing, getting it to run. And getting it to run dependably. But now it is very dependable. It's a very QSO or QSO worthy uh, T4XB Drake. So anyway, when you buy a Drake, you want to make sure this PTO has been lubricated. It's easy to turn. And this one indeed is nice because I took it apart and I lubricated it. I cleaned the bearings all out, put in synthetic grease and, and uh, lubricated the worm gear. I also pulled the entire front panel off here, all the knobs off. And there's a little tiny light that's below here that lights up when the VFO is in use. I took the panel apart and painstakingly replaced the any 2 bulb under the knob here. That took probably three or four hours. And I made sure this little, I took all this plastic out and the um, Lexan or Mylar dials out, cleaned a little soap and water. And I made sure this little slider here was was perfect to use and easy to operate. Those get jammed after a while. Made sure that everything here functioned, the meter switch was easy. All these controls weren't binding. All these knobs got cleaned. This, of course, got cleaned off. And just tried to make this perfect as functional as possible. All the switches have been detoxed. So it's a pretty nice radio. Looking around the radio, it's probably been a bit banged around by previous owners. I didn't really drill holes in the top of it or anything. I didn't do anything with this radio except fix it, so <laughs> I haven't put scratches on it. I don't know who did, but all I did was get it back to working perfectly, and working perfectly it does. So I got a light bulb up there for a transmitting demo, which I'll provide here in a moment. I'm just giving you a brief little overview. This thing's been uh, sitting here running for about five minutes now, heating up. It's probably ready to start a demo here. So with one hand, as I'm holding this uh, iPhone, I'll attempt to give a little demo of this guy. So uh, now I'm on 80 meters. I got the pre-selector. Well, it's maybe a little a little above 80 there, but I'm on 80 right here. Let's give it a try here and see what we can do. So when you go to tune mode, that will let you tune the radio. You want to put this on normal so the VFO will work. And for 80 meters, I guess that's about the right setting for those. And the gain here will pretty much determine how much drive you have to the finals. This will light up a 12BY7 that will power the finals and you don't want to really overdrive it. So when you're tuning, keep this down as low as possible. So the first thing you do is you, you go to um, you go to tune mode here and then you can peak the plate current with the pre-selector here or, or the RF tune and then you can dip your plate and increase your load until you have saturated and then you back off the load. So that's what we'll do here on all these bands. So I'm gonna go to tune mode here. Of course, CW will give it a little more output. Tune is a little safer, so let's go to tune mode here in this thing. Okay, there's tune mode, and I already got some output here, so I think I was diddling around on 80 meters here a while back. Um, anyway, we're in tune mode here, so let's just go through it. I'm gonna um, peak the tune a little bit here on 80. It's peaked, go for a dip. There's a dip, and then anyway, I could apply load and then I can really goose this thing up. You don't want to really It puts a lot of power. You don't really want to be uh, Leaving the uh, amps too high the uh, You don't really want to go really above 0.15 on this thing When you're tuning or even 0.1 you just don't want to Be too hard on it on the um, two finals in the sky. Okay, so That's 80 meters um, there's nothing on 160, there's no crystal or anything, so we can't do that one. Let's go to 80 here, or 40. There's 40, and I'll try and get it close by going to 40 meters here. Let's see if that is calibrated. And then um, 
we'll simply go to transmit here again, the tune, and look for a peak. There's tune, looking for a peak. Uh, come on. Give it some more drive, look for a peak. Nope. More drive, look for a peak. There's a real sharp peak, back it off. There, so 40 is a, uh, now let's do it for a dip, there's a dip right there. Let's do our load. Okay, that's pretty good. Anyway, that's about it. Um, we can try and goose it now and see what it'll do. We'll give it some more on drive here and hit it real quick for a nice bright little uh, flash here. Let's see here, SSB uh, tune, oh, I'm in tune here. Uh, that should be lighting up. There we go. I tend to get confused in these radios because I got a few of these and I, and I, ha I have different ones. So the TX4B is different than the, R the TR4 and different than a few of them. But uh, let's, let's give us a run here. Okay, so dip it. Uh, yeah, this thing really puts some power out. You might want to muck around with the... Um, the neutralization, it probably needs to neutralize a little bit, and that's just simply tuning a uh, tuning a bear cap in there with the finals slightly until it until when the plate goes down, dip goes down, you get max power out. So, but I'm using a light bulb, so I don't really want to mess around with that thing right now because you want to use a really good load or use your antenna to do that. Okay, so 40 works. Let's go to 20 meters here, and notice we're right smack on 40, so it did peak up nice. Let's go to around 20 here. We're on 20 here. Let's take that down. I'm on separate. I shouldn't touch that knob. Um, okay, let's go to tune again and get a peak. So go for tune. A little bit of drive. Go for a peak on 20. You'll see it pop up here. A little more drive. So there. It's a kind of a violent little peak, isn't it? Let's go for a dip. No dip. Okay, there's a dip. We got a dip here. Um, load. No, that's about right. So. At least with my light bulb, it's about right. All right, so crank it off. We'll increase it uh, to some good drive here and give it a flash. Whoops, wrong way. Wow. So <laughs> that's in tune mode. This thing has a lot of power. That's probably 100 watts on uh, on 20. Okay, let's go to a 70 watt bulb. I blew it out. Let's go to uh, 15 meters here. So on sideband, don't touch that knob, go to 15, go to 15. Let's uh, back this down. Let's go for transmit here, go to tune mode. Look for a peak. There's a peak right there. Go for a quick dip. There's a dip, I got nothing. Come on, give me some power, baby. There's some power, let's crank it. Let's dip it, let's hit it with some load. Well, 15 is not marvelous, and I'm, I'm maxing the finals out, but there is power on 15. I just don't want to be cranking it too hard there. Let's go to 10. There's 10 meters. Um, okay, separate SSB, 10 meters, power. Let's crank the power down, drive down. Okay, go to tune mode. Look for, look for increase here. Come on. There it is. There's 10. That's kind of broad. Give it some drive, give it a dip. Come on, dip, 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 dip. Yeah, it needs neutralized on 10, that's for sure. But anyway, it's working. Yeah, too much current, too much current, too much current. Anyway, 10 might need a bit neutralized here. I'll let you worry about that. Okay, off it goes. Give it a quick crank here. Let's see what it does. That's probably 80 watts on 10, 70 or 80 watts on 10. And if you neutralize it, we'll get more out of it. So yeah, the radio is functional in all bands. That's what I'm going to show. It, it just needs neutralized. I'll leave that to the new owner. I've done the hard work of uh, cleaning out shorts, cleaning up wiring, uh, cleaning up switches, cleaning up the case that was, well, actually the insides were really dirty in this thing. They're, they still don't look great, but they're cleaned up. So this would do nice in your shack. It's not a pristine TX4B, but it's it's a nice little fighter. And the uh, front of this thing is gorgeous. I mean, the case or the the front panel is flawless. Everything here is flawless. So it's a looker. It's a looker anyway, right in the face. Maybe inside isn't so pretty, but the bottom side's very nice. And the uh, 
top is, is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And it sure is pretty at night. So give us one a thought. It's not a bad radio. I'd put probably two weeks into fixing this thing to get it as dependable as it is now. It, it had weird shorts in the coax. It had weird problems in the switches where wires would jiggle and cause intermittence and it, it took a lot of work to make this guy dependable but it is dependable now it's rock solid so uh give it a consideration the only reason why i'm selling it is i have two of these i have a uh, tx4c i think so uh or t4xc so this is a good transmitter though i i sell it reluctantly because it was my first drake and i put weeks into fixing this thing but if you can give it a good shack a good life i would appreciate it because i put a lot of work in this thing i'm not sure what its history is it came out of florida that's all i know it it, it probably came from the state sale like everything else does on on ebay but it needed a lot of work and now it's really pristine so give it a thought this of course would go well with a uh a T4, uh, an R4B receiver. And I have one of those for sale also. Anyway, that's that. Here's 40 meters again. There's 40. Let's see if we can get 40 cranking again. I think 40 is about there. Turn the power down because 40 is sons of drive. Separate. Lower is good. SSB is good. Let's crank on it. Get some drive going into it. There's drive. Dip it. Where's my dip? There's my dip. There's some power coming on light. Give it some more load. Back off the load. A little more load there. Let's give it a power crank here. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll crank people. So give it a thought. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Don't catch Omicron. Bye-bye.